everyone. I know it's been a while. Lots of things have been happening around here and I'm just not in the habit of recording things. So I just haven't done anything for a while. But today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I have been loaned a, a um, macro lens from Fujifilm. It's the 80 millimeter and it's, I'm actually, I've got it because I'm thinking of getting it for myself. I kind of want to move away from Nikon. So I thought maybe I'm going to see if I can take a video and show you what it's like to use the macro lens. So fingers crossed it works. So one of the things I guess you do notice when you first get a macro lens is that you can get a lot closer to everything. Um, meaning you can zoom in. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'll have to keep focusing and see how close we can actually get with it. That might be about it. It's not a great day for macro photography because it is going to rain later, so there's lots and lots of wind. that that would make a great shot let's just take a photo of that you can take photos when it's really really windy but I mean it's frustrating because you find that what you end up doing most of the time is just sitting around waiting for the wind to sort of get that lull. See like how there's a lull right now? So normally I'd be snapping away. <laughs> That's not going to be much better out here. I planted a heap of ranunculus this year. So I'm not really sure how this is going to go. So we've had so much wind lately. might try and see if we can take some photos of some flowers that are maybe a little bit more protected like these I've got no idea what they are I never know what the flowers are in my garden oh look there's a little bug of some sort on this one a little butterfly or something I'm not really sure what it is I have no idea what it is, so if you know, let me know. Ultimately, a macro lens is just the same as a fixed lens, except it allows you to get much closer to your subject than what a normal fixed lens would allow you to do. I don't think it was a bug, I think it was something in it. We're about to get a massive gust of wind, so I think these flowers are going to go everywhere. Let's see how close I can get. I'm not going to do too much more now because it's going to be too windy. Um, my thoughts are basically with this lens that I want one. I just wanted to mention that one of the things I've noticed, one of the biggest differences between this lens and the Nikon lens 
is that the Nikon lens seems to take so much longer to focus than this one. Um, I think this is still better in low light and you can get better photos when it's not as bright outside than the Nikon. But overall, I think the thing that's impressed me the most is how quickly it focuses. The Nikon one's been, I've been really, I've really struggled with it a bit sometimes. Magpie's getting closer. Maybe it thinks I've got something for it. As you can see, you can use this lens as a normal lens. You don't have to use it just as a macro. But um, it's nice that it has that option that you can get in really close. And if you love flower photography, kind of a macro, macro lens is kind of a essential part of your kit, or it should be. I don't know, this magpie is quite friendly. I'm a bit obsessed with it. Hey mate, how are ya? Yo! There's my dahlia starting to come up. Anyway, so a lot of people use these lenses to photograph um, lots of things like, you know, you could, I hear a lot of portrait photographers use them for taking photos of people. Not something I'm interested in, so not something I'm likely to do. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. Gives you an idea of what you can do with the macro lens and I'll get some more videos to you soon on what's been happening around here. I'm also going to process some photos and um, you can see what you can do with this lens. Okay, um, I'll, talk to you all, I'll talk to you next week or week after or sometime soon. Bye.